This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Ice, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So, you know, I have to come back to modern Black women not having any shame. And this one is a sad one because she's ruining several lives, not just her own. This is a clip, what I'm talking about is a clip of a 26-year-old woman that came on the Kendra G show. She has seven children pregnant with an eighth and on the show looking for a man. Now the clip here is like 20 minutes long. I'm only going to play maybe about two minutes, two and a half minutes of it, just so you can kind of get the gist of what's going on. I'm going to see if I can put the link in the description box so you can watch it yourself um, after you watch the show. And so I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen really quickly so you guys can just sort of see. I'm going to let it play for a little bit. Here you go. Dallas. Dallas. And how old are you? You're 26, right? Uh, I'm 26. Okay. And you have seven kids that went on the way? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's go with the kids' ages. I cannot. I cannot. I got an eleven-year-old, um, a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, a five-year-old. Wait, wait, wait! I gotta write it down. So tell me again from the top. I have an eleven-year-old, nine, eight, two, three-year-olds, a five-year-old, and a one-year-old. Boom. Okay, and you're pregnant. Yes. So is are you pregnant? How many men? How many baby daddies do I have? Yes. Child fathers do I have? Yes. I have four. Four. So you're currently pregnant and you have a one-year-old. Is that by the same man? Yes. No, oh. the one the one that I'm pregnant by. I don't know who my baby daddy is. But the um How do you not know who your baby daddy is? See, it's a long story. I, I don't want to talk about it. It's it's embarrassing. So did you have sex with multiple? Don't kids? judge me. No, I'm just well, trying to. We're, I went. But I okay, bet. here's the deal. Now I want to say this: you chose to come on the show, right? So okay, these are the questions. Happened. These are the questions I would naturally ask for clarity. So you volunteer. I don't call nobody. Everybody calls me. So that is a. Okay, I want to get this out. Have you ever been raped? So we're gonna stop sharing. There's a lot. Like I said, I'm going to put the clip in the description box so you can watch the whole thing. This woman is 26. Now, this was the second time that she showed up on Kendra G's show. The first time she showed up on Kendra G's show, Kendra hung up on her because she thought she was trolling her. She came on the first time talking about she wanted a sugar daddy. Later on in this clip, she mentions the sugar daddy and the fact that he just passed away two months ago. So she's looking for another sugar daddy. Obviously, this was an older man. Obviously, she was having her children during this relationship because she said that she was having a relationship, if you could call it that with the sugar daddy for years and years. And he knew the baby daddies and all that kind of stuff. This woman is, has seven children. She has an 11 year old. She has a nine year old. She has an eight year old. So stair stepping. She got a five year old. She's got three year old twins. She's got a one year old and she's six months pregnant with an eighth child. There are five baby fathers, four. And then this last one is a, separate guy she doesn't know 
who the father is for this eighth one. Then wanted to say, don't judge me. I don't know why that's y'all favorite thing. If you don't know who your father, who the baby father is, and it wasn't an assault, this was like a train, or you have so many guys that you deal with back to back to back that you don't know who, which of these men that you regularly have sex with is the father of the child. And it's embarrassing for you to not know this information, to not have this information. She probably scared to ask these men. Okay. These children's lives is over. Ruined lives. I'm not going to say over, but these lives are ruined. This woman is their mama. Okay. This woman is their mom. This woman do not know nothing. She is not the brightest bulb in the box. Okay. She is a bum. She's a whore. She don't do nothing. Later on, she admit that she's on government assistance. Surprise, surprise. Her rent was only $7. Surprise, surprise. Okay. She says that she's not with these men because they are not mature enough and don't make good decisions. I'm just going to let that sit there. This woman don't have no ambitions. This woman doesn't have any goals. This woman cannot even really take care of herself outside of government assistance. This is a woman that slide around. Having kids is her job. Having children where she can get all of the, the Section 8 and the EBT and all of this type of stuff. This is how she's sustaining herself. That's how she's sustaining herself. And this is what I meant when I said that the single mother is the servant of the lost value system. She's the servant. Everything that's dysfunctional about her serves the colonizer system. These children do not have guidance. These children are not really around. She got five baby daddies and eight kids, y'all. And the men don't make good decisions. This one, along with so many other black women in this same predicament, we are not even gonna act like she is alone or she's a one-off or she's an outlier because she not. She common. She common as a cold. Do you understand? This woman is common as a, as a cold. She has zero real concept of her lost value as a woman. Zero concept of this. She has laid down with multiple men. I would hate to hear her body count because later on in the clip, she is she admits I give it up so fast. So she admit, listen, this this little cat right here, this box right here, hot y'all. It's hot to trot y'all. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. This is the type of individual that cannot tolerate any structure in her life. Like I said, she had a sugar daddy. He just passed away. She is not looking for structure. She is looking for another sugar daddy because she said that she want to be celibate. I, I'm going to have to do some shows. I'm going to have to do some shows on some recurring themes with y'all. The celibacy after a thousand bodies. And then the marriage after a thousand bodies and 20,000 kids. I'm going to have to really get into that with y'all. Because what is this pathology? She only wants somebody that's going to pay for her and pay for her children. Black women like this are really a dime a dozen. 
women that have no shame and women that don't have any sense of where they value really even is. They think that when they get tired of the transaction, that's when they supposed to become a wife. Some man is not supposed to take them seriously. You got these same chicks. This is the same one that when Kendra started asking her about her sexual history, well, you know, I was young and dumb. That only that only might that might go from the first one if you was really dumb. Eight kids later, you still dumb. So it ain't was, it is. You you one was young and dumb. You you older and stupid now. Cause you keep doing the same thing that you was doing before. If young and dumb was the excuse when you was 14, 15 years old, what's the excuse now at 26, 27, 28, 30, 35? What's that excuse? You still young and dumb? You still stupid? Still stuck on stupid? That's what it is. complete delusion about who the who they are these women are in delusion about who they are and where they stand and where they've placed themselves in the community where they've placed themselves in the eyesight of men this is the folly of feminism of empowerment and of not holding no value for yourself or for men, because men are supposed to accept you. Men are supposed to accept you. And they'll look at a man cock at it if he don't. They will look at a man sideways. If that man say, no ma'am, I am not coming to you. You got a ready-made family. You beyond a ready-made family. A ready-made family is one or two kids. You got eight. You pregnant right now. You need to be seeking out therapy. Not a man. Not a man. You don't need a man. You need spiritual healing. You don't need a man. You need therapy. You don't need a man. You need the 10 life values. You don't need a man. You need to heal all that trauma you got. You don't need a man. Not right now. Not in the condition you in because you don't have nothing to give no man. Nothing. Women in these conditions, they don't have nothing good to give no man. All they gonna give a man is stress and headache and problems and trouble and threat. That's all they got. They don't have nothing to give no man that's any good for him. Nothing that he won't. Nothing that benefit him. Nothing. And it's a thousand and one Black women in this state, in this state of being. And you wonder why your marriage rate is low. What man in his right mind, what man in his proper masculinity would ever, would ever, you fail every single vetting category that he got. You fail time. He can't waste that kind of time with you. Toll, your whole situation is a money pit. He can't waste that kind of money on you. You ain't nothing but trouble. You ain't going to be faithful. You done already proved that. You done already set up there and said you can't hold it in your pants two seconds. And everything that you got going on with you is a whole entire threat to that man. This is why it's a no. All the way around, it's, it's no. We can't deal with you. She's sitting up there proud, like she done done something good. And you know deep down she know it's, it's, this is crazy. She's like, I'm ready for marriage. Baby, no, you are not. You've never been ready for marriage a day in your life. Nobody prepared you for marriage. Nobody. Black women are the only women that think marriage just happened because they snap their finger and say they want to get married. You have to be prepared to be a wife. You have to do work. If that is work, 
It's work in the preparation. It's work in the doing. You really don't get a moment's rest. Being a wife, you don't get a moment's rest from that. That is, that is a job that is 24 hours a day. There are no breaks in this job. You don't get a 10-minute break. You don't get a 30-minute lunch. You don't get no sick days. It ain't none. I just needed to bring this to everybody's attention. What are we doing? Black women, what are we doing? What are we doing? You make the most horrible decisions with your womb. And then you want a man to come save you. And then you're talking about you don't need no man. You need him to come save? You need men to come save you from your stupid self. Because you do the God awfulest, stupidest stuff imaginable. This woman is 26. You know what I was doing at 26? You know what most lionesses do at 26? And the lionesses in the chat can speak up for it. The vast majority of us at 26, we was married already. We was married already. That's what we was doing. Chosen. In the house with our husbands. Being a wife. Before we sign off, I want to bring everybody's attention to Black Lives Matter. The petition we have against Black Lives Matter as an organization, we are so close to 7,500 signatures. And I want to thank everybody that got us to that point. If you want to join in on being accountable uh, or, or holding Black Lives Matter accountable for the $100 million theft that they perpetrated on the Black community, please click the link inside of the description box and sign, share, and contribute to the petition. Also, sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.